Welcome to another Grit and Grime basketball podcast. I'm your host as always, David Sago, here with Thomas Arnold. Hey. And Jose Garcia Vidal. Hello. Did it, did it. And we are here for a special to talk about Hustle. Yeah. A basketball movie by Adam Sandler. Um, dramedy released a few weeks ago on Netflix. This is not an ad, um, but we will be breaking down the movie and my thoughts on it are generally positive. Spoiler. Um, so we have a, a synopsis here, which I'll read. So it's a storyline, the storyline. After being fired, pro basketball scout Stanley Sugarman, spoiler, that is as well, mm-hmm. is excited for the first time in a very long while when he serendipitously discovers Spanish <laughs> amateur baller Ocruz playing in a park outside Madrid, fueled with newfound purpose, Stanley makes it his mission to groom Bo in a good way for the NBA as he believes they both can make it. Ta-da! Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So it's it's basically the tale of both of them proving themselves. Um, Sugarman, who's a scout that wants to be a coach, and um, and Bo Cruz, who actually doesn't have the dream of making it to the NBA, but um, Sugarman sees the talent in him and um, and gets him gets him out of the situation that he's in. So Bo, Bo wanted to play basketball professionally, yeah. right? But then, so he 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 had a daughter. So that stopped him from pursuing that basketball career in the past, right? Yeah, yeah. He obviously couldn't go to, he couldn't go and, eh, he couldn't leave the country to go and play basketball because he had to look after his daughter. He couldn't like, like, justify he, he it He could have, right? But that's, that's the beauty of the story. Like, they make it really human and, and like, uh, you, you sympathize with him immediately because the guy at, at, what, 16, 17, decided to stay home instead of going to, I say with his bo- with his daughter instead of going to the US because he, he did get called by a university or some something from the US that, that they mentioned it, right? Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, he does. Sorry. Um and they yeah, they humanize him, they show him where he plays and also where he um where he lives quite early. Yeah, uh, I like this getting into cam- cameo territory. But I like the little Dirk appearance. I thought that was excellent. Um, it was very Dirk as well. I wonder if um, if Adam Sandler actually knows Dirk well enough to have put his type of humor in there because that was absolutely something Dirk would do. <laughs> um, and he doesn't even... It's such a weird um, situation, isn't it? I, I think the first unrealistic thing is Adam Sandler being able to catch the bus. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have chased a bus through mot- multiple stops, and Adam Sandler. There's no way he caught that bus. <laughs> I maybe promise buses, you. <laughs> you know, maybe stops in Spain are shorter than we think. Trust like me, closer to each other, you mean? <laughs> there's no yeah, way you know he's I mean? catching like, that bus. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way. So he would have had we to say this is a, in the bus. <laughs> we say this is a drama, comedy slash science fiction. Then yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, th- I think he was Sugarman half Flash Man as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the movie is grounded in that sense. It's grounded by Boa Cruz's character because uh, even by the time the first time we see him, he's seen what well, we've seen a bunch of different celebrities, some playing themselves, some not. Um, I don't know if you spotted Fat Joe in that yeah. uh, room at the start. Yeah. yeah. Um, and make a Oka for is in that room at the start. Yeah. Have you noticed it? Yeah. He yeah, was one of my staff. favorite players, man. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's there. So is he the, actually on the Philly stuff? Yeah. No, not on the Philly stuff. He's right. he's in that in that room when I think it's when when Philly's uh when, when Robert Duval's character dies. Oh mm. yeah. In the funeral. That's where mm-hmm. I make Oka for is. And I think I've spotted Aaron McKee, but I don't know if it's yes. Is it, is it in that scene? It's in that scene, yeah. He's in the film, for sure, because they say at the end, in the I, film, I didn't that, spot yeah. him. It must be. I had, to, I had to go back and look. He looks very different, though. Right. 
<laughs> yeah. You miss you miss you missed um Boban Marjanovic at the very start of the film oh, he's got, like, in the first scene. He's yeah. pretending to be what 19? Twenty two. Twenty two. Or twenty two, his son, oh, 22, his son is twelve. <laughs> Ten years old. <laughs> and he's already six foot eleven. Sure. Yeah. And, and Franz Franz Wagner as well, right? Like he's yeah. he's he's the, the German Haas Hans, right? Has. Yes, has. Has. Um, it's really cool too. So yeah, we kind of see all of these uh, people that we recognize. I'm not sure they'd be so um, recognizable to the common person um, or non NBA fan. Um, and we also see. Um, I think that's the first time we spot what's his name playing the agent. Um, Kenny oh, Smith. Um, Kenny, Kenny Smith. Smith. Yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith. Um, and, and then I feel like the film sort of takes us, it takes us out of that world. So it shows us the world that he, I mean, the film opens with him scouting, right? He's scouting Huss and other mm -hmm. players. Um, it shows us the world of a scout on the road. And then yeah. it shows us the glamorous side of the NBA at the funeral with all the people there to see, um, see off Duval. And um, and and then it casts us back again, back into the world of a scout, and we look at um, we look at Bo Cruz's life, and that further grounds the film. Um, yeah. And I feel like there's this constant um, back and forth between how like um, I don't want to keep saying grounded, but how um, unglamorous it can be before you get to the NBA level, right? For players, for people, for, co for um, coaches as scouts. well, for scouts, everyone involved, all the behind the scenes stuff is very, very um, unglamorous. Yeah, and it's almost like, you know, when, you, when I was watching it, it's, you're like, wow, that, that sounds horrible, right? The guy lives on the road, never gets to see his daughter. You know, he mentions a couple of times that I've missed my daughter's birthday for nine years, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And and just take it out of context, right? So it's a, take the, the, the scout position out of the movie. If somebody offers you, do you want to be a scout for the 76ers? I, I would like jump like mm. three times yeah. in. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I start I start yesterday, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, but then you see you see the effort, right? Like, what's the progress, right? Like uh and it's it's and I think that it, it's it, it's it's it has to be. A, a, a factual representation of, of the actual thing, you know, because the producers, obviously LeBron and, and, and Adam Sandler and, and all the people involved, like they must have had their said, they, they say and say like, yeah, you need to do it like this and this is how it happens and this is, you know, the way things are, right? So yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Again, it's really grounded, really realistic. Yeah, and and it is. I've read an article a few years ago about what it's like to be a scout. Um, both uh, a talent scout and also a tactic scout. So there are also tactic scouts who are on the road all the time and they go and they watch other teams play. But um, obviously they get to be in the arenas and stuff like that. Um, but they ultimately don't, like a lot of the time coaches just throw away whatever the scout says because during the regular season, you're focused on what your team's doing. It's only in the postseason that those people actually um, get to really shine because they're um, <clears throat> they're a lot more important. Everyone's a lot more focused on what the opponent does at that time. Um, but yeah, being a being a road scout, being a talent scout, is such a ridiculously impossible task because he said like he scouted us four times, right? And he realized that he didn't have the the heart. Um, you do that you'll make multiple trips and you can ultimately end up seeing you might see four of their best games or you might see none of their best games and it's really just you're trying to make something out of something very very little like we talked yeah. about small sample sizes and there's just you just can't judge a player on on four games but that's all you have. like you can't go to every game you don't yeah. get to interview the players. You don't. There's so many things that um, 
there's so many pitfalls to the task of scouting. And then I found it interesting that even with all of that, with him clearly knowing more than anyone else in the room about the player, he goes to the boardroom and gets shut down, right? Someone who's seen him zero times, <laughs> aside from a few clips who, um, which Sugarman probably put together, um, ends up saying, oh, no, nah, we should take him and making that decision for the team. And it just shows sort of like how thankless it is. Like after all of those months and months and months on the road, this is the thanks you get on the other side. Uh, and I'm sure that is exactly what happens. If it's not the owner's son, it's someone else. Maybe it's the owner themselves. Maybe it's the GM. Maybe there's an influential player or something like that who has their heart set on this person and just wants to push their side of the agenda. Man, I wonder what I would love to have been in the room when they had that conversation about Luka Doncic at the Kings. <laughs> Jesus. <yeah. laughs> Who was it? <laughs> well, I, I read today that the Clippers uh, stated that if they would have drafted a 17 year old in Kobe Bryant, the mm. league would have not respected them because of that decision that there was a lot of that there was a lot when kobe came out there was a whole group of teams who were just like we think he's amazing but we just can't sign a guard who's 70 yeah. can't do it <laughs> just can't do it and and if if it wasn't the teams that couldn't take the risk some of them didn't some of the um i think some of the players on the teams also didn't like the idea of having a, a 17 year old at training camp of course um but these are the risks you take anyway. right yeah. <laughs> um and then i i guess that that brings us naturally around to um to uh him discovering bo cruz right he goes back yeah. out on the road he well he's given his coaching job first um and ends up uh, losing that after the, the owner passes away. And then he goes back out on the road and he visit, he goes to a street ball game and he sees Bo Cruz. This is our, I mean, it's not our first bit of hoops, but realism, realism. Yeah. What did we think of this scene? Well, that, that's to me, that was the, the scene because you said everything was gra grounded until then. And I was like the first scene when I went, this is very Disney, Disney like. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like the guy is in his work shoes, topless, and then everybody's around going, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I, like I, I used to spend days on the playgrounds growing up. Like I've been, like I've seen people betting money and stuff. Like never seen like 25 billion people around the court going absolutely crazy. If I, if I, that said, it was quite nice to see him blocking. What, what I like though, it was him playing defense. Because you know I love defense, <laughs> and he was like, "I give you money if you score on me," and I was like, "Yes, see, <laughs> gonna make his cash money with his defense, blocking everyone." <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's was something it? I was gonna say. Like, I think that that's the part that is not is not realistic. Is the way mm -hmm. he can block those shots. Like, you can, like, non hoopers will not recognize it, but hoopers know that those shots are being just like given to him. Oh yeah. Yeah. To block right you can you can volleyball see it on the that. release <laughs> yeah but but it's it is it is it is cool fantasy you know it's like oh wow you know this guy's defending yeah you know <laughs> um and again like wearing the work shoes like boots and stuff um mm -hmm. it's it's pretty cool it's it's a cool thing though like you're like it's like street ball and you're like yeah you know it's it's, it's good stuff yeah and see the weirdest thing to me was that he did actually own some sneakers like later on he's uh, yeah they say that he should wear but, some and maybe, then he just maybe, wears them. yeah maybe maybe he was coming back from work and yeah, you can you can debate that right like he was just out of, <laughs> got, off, got off work to go play hey, or something like that maybe the indoor sneakers he don't want to wear them outside and ruin <laughs> yes that's true that's his only pair yeah uh, it's only pair he's got no cash that's I mean, true man he couldn't afford to make some from playing. I mean, he, he seemed to be kind of levels above everyone. What does he have a daughter or something? 
Who needs? Uh, yeah, that's that's <laughs> not needs what the food, money's man. for. So first, what you, you get waste your money on, man. Like, why do you two, spend your money on two pairs Buses? of trainers first, and then, then you can spend it on your door. To be fair, that's that's a fair investment. That, that's how you invest, right? That's how you get exactly. yourself prepared. The uh, work money is for his daughter. The basketball money is for basketball. Exactly. Fair enough. See, you've got to reinvest <laughs> in yourself. Um, yeah. And the other thing was the guy he was against was my height. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I've played against uh, one of my cousins is six foot four and plays basketball, and I wasn't as good then. But scoring on him was an absolute impossible task because no matter right. where I released from, he could get to the ball. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, this guy was clearly like five foot ten playing against <laughs> Hernan Gomez, who's six nine and athletic. Um, yeah, and then my last inconsistency. If he's this good in the streets, surely they would already know who he is. Like people were running to see him play. So yeah, like I don't understand how he could possibly hustle the street ball players already. Like you know, uh, like you'd normally be unless that was his first time going to that court. But normally you'd be familiar with the good players that play regularly. Yeah. So is it set in Madrid? Is it set in Madrid? Yeah, it is. I think. Exactly. I think it's it's. Well, I can, I can, I can debate that. Mm. Like, I, I like, I like your, 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 your challenging the, the, the script. Mm. But I can debate that. You can say, you know, the guy, the guy took the bus, so he took a, apparently a long bus to get back so home, maybe, right? So yeah. that's not his home court. Mm. Maybe he moves around, right? So mm. there you go. And, and maybe he just, he just doesn't believe in basketball anymore. He had to quit because of his daughter, so he's focused on, on his work. Like he's, he's very clear about that with his mom to say like yeah he needs to work i can't go to usa because i need to work tomorrow stuff like that so uh, there, there's yeah. there's kind of like that there, there's that, a you there's know a what chance. i mean there's an explanation yeah. right yeah 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 um, it doesn't mean he wants to play professional right? like he could have turned him down we don't know like he could have been scouted before he didn't believe in himself out. enough right but that's that's know, when do that. that's when happy gilmore comes and says happy go. <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, let's go. I can show. I can teach you how to play golf. Well, especially when <laughs> you see hockey, how with a hockey stick, he's he's got to convince him quite hard. Because if anyone comes to you knock knocking at your door and say, "Hey, I'm a scout," agree. Like, yes. What times? What times the flight? <laughs> That'll be your first answer. Like, I'll go exactly. with you, stranger. I was like, you no, no need to produce any sort of ID. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just call I'll go with you. Where's your white van? Let's go. But you know, you know, it was cool. I think. Um, when so he finally co- goes into this house and starts talking to his mom and everything and well yeah no the sixes will pay and blah, blah 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 so and his mom said well he needs to work tomorrow but and he's like well but the sixers you know you, you get at least a minimum contract in the nba and and the mom is like well, how much is a minimum contract in the nba nine hundred thousand dollars <laughs> and the mom was like he'll he'll call in sick yeah right so often the three of us have debated on on different salaries in the nba like X million, mm-hmm. X million, 40, whatever million. Mm-hmm. When you compare it to a, a worker's, right? Like a worker's salary, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden they say $900,000, the minimum salary in the NBA. You're like, whoa, these yeah. guys are making serious dough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and, it, I think putting things into perspective there, it was like, wow. Yeah. And where that always blows my mind is when they talk about um, rookie hazing. And how they'll take, they'll go out, the team will go out for dinner. They'll order, you know, everything off the menu three, four, five times. And then they'll leave the rookie with the check. And whenever rookies or whatever, people that used to be rookies tell these stories, they're like, ah, and yeah, and they left me the check. And, you know, I'm a rookie. I'm barely making that much money. And I have to pick up the check. And it's like, you still make enough money to pick up a dinner check. Like you'll be all yeah. right. I'm yeah, sure. Right. Five <laughs> I'm grand, sure you'll be you're good. Fine. <laughs> yeah, let's say like let's say five grand. Yeah, all right, that hurts, but you'll be you'll be all right. You know, you'll be fine. Yeah, and granted, that's not all liquid, is it? It's not net, and you don't get paid at yeah. once. <laughs> yeah, no, fine, yeah, but <laughs> fine. Pay taxes, I'm sure they have right? a credit card though. Like, come on. Yeah, they're good for it. They're good for it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, he goes to the house. There was something in between I wanted to, yeah, they, they fly, right? They go to, oh no, they, yeah. they, they have the trials with the, he wants to try with, with like, uh, actual players. So, so him, actual players, oh, Spanish, some Spain Spanish national legends, national yeah. team and, and his brother, actually. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Funnily enough. 
and he didn't even recognize him. That's, nah. that's yeah. good acting. <laughs> that is good acting. <laughs> that is mad. He, he didn't say, yo, what's up, bro? He didn't. Hey, bro. Bro. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Calderon's there. Yeah. Uh, who else? Um, so, Willy, Scariolo. Sergio Scariolo. The coach. Alex Abrines. Uh, Abrines, yeah. 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 Abrines, yeah. Um, and they go, and he makes every shot in the workout. Yeah. And the scout is blown away. And again, I'm like, realism. <laughs> like, well, it, isn't that uh, isn't that just a trope from every single sports movie? Like, you it see, is. like you know, when when they like when they oh, uh, he's going to impress everyone. It's like they don't miss a single shot. Like if it's a tennis. Movies yeah. like, oh my god, he's six nil, six nil. Yeah, game, game over. It's, it's always, always bothers like me. Always you know, bothers same. me. <laughs> same. Same. Like, it's like movie, man. in Coach Carter, you never show. They never show a shot miss. Yes, until the last shot. <laughs> Every last single shot. shot in the entire movie goes in. <laughs> Why do you want to see miss shots, man? It's a movie. It's not. That's a, how you not... learn. But compare, compare <laughs> they don't even show miss learn. shots on the highlights, man. <laughs> Compared compared to superhero movies, when they go for like discovering their talents, their, their superpowers, and they you go, have, you have to be bad oh, at it first. Yeah, you gotta go through the edit. You've gotta go through the the the. the well, you the, can the argue montage. that this is, this is the first one where they, you know, he 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 gets the shot, but then he fails a couple of times actually. They do. So yeah, they, they yeah, do turn I, it around later. Yeah, they do turn it around later. I'm not. Don't. I I enjoyed the film. I'm just okay. Just okay. just picking and knitting. I'm knitting and picking. Fine. He, he, Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so he goes, goes to the practice. They, they, um, he does well against the Spanish national team. I mean, yeah. as you would, as someone off the streets. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he takes him to America. They eventually get on the flight. Philadelphia. Um, they go to Philly of all places for, for this type of story, huh? Underdog yeah, know, right? story. Someone comes from nothing, makes it to the big time. Where have we seen that before? Rocky? Creed? Uh, um, Philadelphia, it, that's where. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> there is some Rocky. But the, the funny thing is, yeah, and shout Rocky. out to all the, the, all the Philly, Philly fans that they do say, oh, the fans here are so level-headed and <laughs> some <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I, I thought that was funny. And I thought they were going to show them being the opposite and they actually didn't. But yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that was funny. Philadelphia fans are, are the best, which means that they're the worst. That's what that's <laughs> yeah. the actual line. Yeah, yeah, very true. yeah. They're they're very harsh. I think a harsh people. But hey, whips people into shape, don't it? Holds them accountable. True. So um, yeah, he goes to the glamorous Philadelphia, uh, gets a hotel room with all very the nice trimmings, hotel. all the trimmings. We love mm, a lot song. of steak, a uh, cheese steak. How many bites do you take? Just one. One bite. Otherwise, you get fat. <laughs> Why yeah. so you get fat? <laughs> you don't want to be out the league like Zion. Um, <laughs> you, you can still get a max contract, though. <laughs> I, 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 I believe they're preparing the max. I mean, they kind I, of have to, but it's insane. Yeah. Anyway, I had the, guys, I had... the guys played 14 games. <laughs> they. It's funny because they, they, he's, there's two discussions around the hotel room, which is eating one portion, well, one bite of food, and then the pawn. The pawn. The <laughs> Pringles. <laughs> and the, no, the Pringles. Okay, the Pringles, the pawn, and the, and, and the, the burgers, basically. Yeah. Um, but I was like, is he doing the same thing whilst watching the pawn movie? Like, he starts and then just stops. And he's like... <laughs> Ooh, that's... <laughs> just one. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, I've got weird questions going through my head <laughs> at all time. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Feel free to skip. And he tr- <laughs> and edit. And he tries to <laughs> he tries to deny it. Like uh, okay, like, like it was wasn't in me. Room? <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, and yeah, so gets the hotel room, does that. Almost the first thing he does when he touches down in Philly, he spots a court. I thought that was very streetball Hooper esque, right? Mm. As someone who loves the game that much and is used to just playing whenever they want to play. Yeah. Um, he obviously sees that there's a court and he's out there and he's hustling and he's 
earning little scraps, still wearing his outdoor trainers, his out his outdoor work boots. Um, Timberlands. His, his Timberlands, which is more New York than Philly, let's be honest. Um, yeah. And he goes out there and he's, yeah, he's hustling and Adam Sandler gets him off the court. And it's a reminder for anyone that isn't aware that it's never a good idea for uh, NBA caliber players to be playing street ball. No, that especially one that doesn't have NBA insurance yet. <laughs> yeah. Because you roll an ankle, you get into trouble, anything, any number of things can go wrong um, out there on the street ball courts. Can I? Right. I think we, we, something that's important to, to mention is that he had troubles getting into the US because of his yeah. problems in the past. Yeah. So he needed to get the Sixers lawyer to help. So, Sugarman yeah. need, need to get the six lawyers lawyer to help, help him get into the country, and that again, highlighting very realistic, highlighting something that absolutely happens to players that come from abroad and have to try and get a visa. Um, I, I, I thought it was pretty easy for him to even after the lawyers came in. I thought it was still pretty easy for him to get a a visa, considering mm. how. I mean, I guess it's, <sighs> it's America, not here. But, but sometimes players struggle with like work permits and stuff like that. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how how much Cons- visas he hadn't, have he hadn't been changed. drafted. He hadn't been drafted. Yeah, f- fair. But mm. but once you have your visa, you're in. Almost it's like what what do they care about what you did in the past? You got your visa. You, you you don't get your visa if you did something in the past, right? If you if mm. you have. I, I mean, I got stopped a couple of times because of my name. You know. It's pretty common in, in Latin America. So <laughs> they thought I was a drug trafficker or something like that. Right. Uh, but it, 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 I, I can see that happening. Like I, I see, I see it. Mm. You know, I think it was, it was all right. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. So he eventually gets in, but that's obviously where the team is flagged up on yeah. what's going on. Right. They realize that he's been brought over. There was a phone call where um, the new owner, the old owner's son, said now nah, we don't want him um don't bring him here and he had he brought him anyway yeah uh it turns out it was an assault charge that he was um struggled to get in for and the assault charge was um after his baby's mother's boyfriend um wanted her to gain sole custody of the child and to get money from the government yep. in order so yeah in order for them to get money from the government for having a child um and Bo said no only i will get money from the government for having a child and he said it with his fists <laughs> <laughs> so hello um, to soul and custody <laughs> so <Soul> custody <laughs> Um, yeah. And I guess that won him the court case, clearly, because he still has the child. I don't know how that happened, but hey, here we are. That, that's, that, that's something that uh, is true that I, I, I did ask myself the same question whilst I was watching that scene. I was like, so wait, so you punch the guy that clearly, clearly, usually that's pretty much, that pretty much means that that seals your, your yeah. case right there. It's like, oh, violence, eh? Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we will take the judge was like, yeah, I like the fighting spirit, son. Mm, gara, <laughs> gara. That's it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so he keeps custody, clearly. Um, but it's, it's a really good scene, actually. It's, I think mm. it was one of um, Hernan Gomez's better, better scenes, acting-wise, uh, in the car, talking about those emotions and yeah. those feelings. Um, yeah. Yeah, he actually had to do some some real acting, not like was, that bum was, LeBron. Yeah, he he was decent though, decent actor. I think overall, like way better than any other basketball player that I've seen <laughs> in the past. I think this so. is this is this basketball is where my movies. my hot take um, <laughs> on WhatsApp this is what I was referring to. I had okay. a strong a strong okay. Eminem vibe, <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Eight Mile, right? <laughs> Where he's when, playing when, you know, he goes to, 
No, when he plays himself, but like the, the, the whole movie, um, both Eminem and, and Adam Gomez, they have the same face, which is... <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like blue steel. What's that <laughs> face again, please? Can you, show, can you show me again, please? I can't do it anymore. But it's like... I'm like, I mean, to, granted, granted, that n- neither of them are actors, right? And uh, like, yeah. you can't. It's it's extremely hard to be a, a good actor, a decent actor. It's like it's not given to every, anyone and everyone, yeah. right? You can't just proclaim yourself to be an actor. So I, I, I was looking at it. I was like, I this is this, that's that's Eminem right there. So <laughs> like, I remember watching Eight Miles, and I was like, this is the same shit. Like it's him sitting there on like, on, on on top of the car, just going. Because life is hard, man. <laughs> but again, I, I'm not judged, like I'm not being that harsh on it. And I was like, yeah, okay, he actually did a good job. Like I also said, like in the car, it was actually quite good. Like when when overall when he had was, to cry, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a hard thing to carry, you know. Like you can't, you can't. It's it again. It's very hard to to show emotion on camera. It's very very extremely hard. So he did a good job. But I just I just like this. There were scenes I was just damn. <laughs> Come on, be a rabbit. Be a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> be a rabbit. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, that that was one of the better, more emotional scenes. Um, and and then that theme pops up again a little bit later, doesn't it? Um, but before that, he uh, manages to get. I mean, the team say that they're going to reject him, but he manages to get into. An, uh, an open run doesn't he uh yeah. with some with some prospects some, some prospects some some draft prospects uh most of them were from um i think he's draft edwards draft right anthony edwards draft i assume that was where because a lot of the players that were playing with them were mm. also part of that year's draft class um anthony edwards character um becomes the main protagonist at this point uh or the the protagonist for Bo Cruz's antagonist character. antagonist for Bo Cruz's character um also and... sorry Anthony Edwards hey yeah puts in a great performance right that was the only clip I had seen before watching the film it was that that scene where he's at the start and he's like oh they call you young bull right and then he says well I'm going to be the matador and all of that stuff um, and I thought he was just excellently cast as the villain. Excellently yeah. cast as, I, as I, the I, villain. I agree. I've seen somewhere they were all like, um, just off the top of his head, like the no script was written for him to talk really? trash. Really? Like, yeah, I think that's what I've seen. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But I, I, I would expect that kind of like trash talk from I him. I think they said they said like, I'll just go mm. go for it. Just talk talk trash the whole time and just yeah. You know, and there, there's like there's. There's talks of a sequel, and he's the main character. Oh, really? Yeah. Of his, uh, so of his, his actual own. career. Yeah. No, no, no. I say like, yeah. I guess it will be his. It's actually yeah. way. It's still the same. The same character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and why well, it doesn't have his name here? Why is he so far? I can't down? remember the name. In order of what of the of it must be in order of a pair. He's on screen. He's oh, Kermit's. Will Kermit. Kermit, Kermit, Wilt. which is weird. <laughs> yeah, Kermit. Kermit the Frog, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. Later on, they say, you know, <laughs> fight back. Kermit, well, there is. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really good, really good. Oh yeah. Uh, it that would that felt realistic. Sounded like something an, an NBA player would say and come up with up on the spot. Um, and. I mean, NBA player, any basketball player, right? That's where you'd go. Um, especially when you see someone that's come from overseas, you then, you know, take the, the mick out of their heritage, something they take pride in, try and get them mm. rattled. Um, and yeah, they start hooping it up. Boom. Everyone makes shots yeah. until they don't. Um, and they, <laughs> yeah, he, he gets in his head says some things that push him over the head over the edge uh and he just totally loses his game and falls apart and that's it right from there 
they no longer have faith in him and his ability. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Now I'm confused. Yeah. Is after that, this is when, when Sugar Man... Was that before or after the combine? Or that was the No, combine? no, that's way before. No, that, way before, That's right? before, yeah. yeah. Open, this is the first open, run. first open run. He doesn't, yeah. Then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and then, the and then yeah, that's that's when uh, Happy Gilmore quits, and yes, and says to Kenny, Kenny Smith, can you please get him into the combine? Into the combine, yeah. and yeah. then they've got they've got six weeks to get ready, and this is where all the uh, the hustle uh, starts. Uh, hey, hustle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do we think of Kenny the Jet Smith's performance? As I think it was good. I think it was good as Agent uh, like Leon. It. Yeah. yeah, I like them. Convincing. Kind of <laughs> I can I kind of I forgot that he was Kenny Smith, so that's how good like he was with it. I was like, I, I forgot for one point I was like, I'm actually watching Kenny Smith because with, with with cruise missile, um, I was like, yeah, I know, I, I'm watching a basketball player for real, but like with, with Kenny Smith, I was like, oh, yeah, he's believable in his role. Of well, he's been he's and... been in front of the camera for a while, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got some yeah. practice. It's yes, it's it's and, an entertainment fit- show for sure. Yeah, and let's let's face it, like their their show inside the NBA, they're they're barely analyzing games. They're just having fun, you know, four dudes having fun. Yeah. So <laughs> uh true. but that's still not acting, it's entertaining for sure. Fair, fair. Uh, but it's it's, fair. it's it's he still had to do do a bit of a job in that yeah. role. Um and yeah, so old what's his face quits his job. Um and then yeah. We start the hustle. <laughs> and I have to say, as far as Philly exercise montages go, this was the longest montage. Jeez. It was yeah. a long montage. In movie history. He was really hustling. Like, I think it was more like they built a montage and built a film around the montage rather than a film and inserting a montage. It was a long time, man. It was a lot of yeah, work. You, it was a lot usually of work. it's 30 second stops, you know, you got a bit of music and a bit of oh, no. cut, cut, yeah, cut. I think we got minutes. like 10, 10, 15 minutes. Of but with that one, was, yeah, that one was 10 minutes. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go I up think, that hill. You know? Yeah, I think, I think the longest one is uh, out of the Rocky films anyway, is Rocky 4, which is like... There's no... That, yeah, yeah there's, I think there's actually two that's, in that film. That's cool. There's one. two montages in that film, but yeah, I think one of those is like two and a half minutes, three minutes. Um, yeah, great, amazing montage, legendary. Um, but yeah, this was this was long. <laughs> this was long as well. Uh, he starts with the hill, which I don't know. That hill seemed a bit short for it to take. A minute forty-five for cyclists know, to right? cycle up. I was like, hey, <laughs> "Who are these cyclists?" And it goes like that as well. Uh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, they have the hill, um, and then the steps after the hill. What's up with that? Hey. The deal was up to the hill, right? Finish the hill, but then he kept on going when once he reaches it under two minutes. Which but is they like, did oh, yeah. run in the steps in a previous point. Maybe it's just part of the workout. Yeah. another part of the workout yeah um i like yeah. it because parts yeah. of the montage are, are basketball based right so uh, related so Skills. you see the professor and mm-hmm. the shooter yes mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. Uh, they don't have any lines i thought they were gonna have lines but still maybe cool they, to see maybe them they there. did and it was edited <laughs> yeah fair enough yeah Maybe they were really bad <laughs> oh the bit the bit i love is when sanders learned like he starts speaking spanish and insulting his mom and everything. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Trying to get in his head just by <laughs> speaking a little Spanish and saying, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I've yeah. seen that happen before. Yeah. But in fact, trying. I use it myself. And you're on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah. So some of it is basketball. He's showing off his handle. I didn't know he could handle like that. But when yeah, I see stuff good. like that, it always reminds you that actually these players only show off such a small percentage of what they can do yeah because of they have to fit into a team construct yeah. like they no, can it's... all handle they can all shoot it's they can do way more than they are asked to do by their teams on the court which, which reminded me of um 
of a lot of discussions I had with uh, young street ballers uh, that were thinking, you know, oh yeah, I, c- I can make it in team basketball, like organized uh, professional. I'm like, no, you no. can't because you your you skills are coming from the freedom and creativity you have and you can use on the court. Once you get into that team system, your specialized especially like in early 2090s like mm-hmm. you were specialized into one mm-hmm. like you had that one role right you're a mm-hmm. three-point shooter you're a defensive guy you're mm-hmm. center you're point guard you assist mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but none of that like none of that could translate none of your skills can translate to it's not transferable basketball. like or, or or you're gonna have to give up 90 percent of the game and focus on one yeah. thing you know and Maybe you're a good shooter as well as a good street baller and you're just going to be asked to shoot yeah. or the coach is going to take you out, right? Yeah. So you're going to get frustrated and you're going to come back to street ball. So that mm-hmm. is, it's, it's not an easy transition, is it? Yeah. We we, we had, um, especially growing up in the 90s, like a lot of French basketball players are coming from, from playground roots. All right. Um, and they there's a couple that made it that got, that got drafted into the NBA and everything. They never really crossed uh, into it, but... Um, the, the, I remember the, this one guy that, that came out of the playground, um, amazing handles, like you're talking like high level stuff, but he managed to make it into a, on, onto a French team in the, in the first, like the top tier. His role was like 10 minutes a game, try not to turn the ball over yeah. and get, create some assistance. Like you could see him struggling on the court, like where do I need mm-hmm. to put my, like where do I need to position myself on the court? Mm-hmm. Like how yeah. do I read this? Like, yeah, he would same. come in fuck it up and then go just about it. It's like, <laughs> but you know, this guy's a legend on the court, like on the playgrounds. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So yeah. it's very hard and, to translate. Um, very hard. And Ayo, who was in the film, but I don't remember seeing him at all. Um, he was in the end credits. He is someone who had tried out for um, the Boston Celtics in the 2000s. Mm-hmm. And apparently at the, at the time, I don't know if this is still true, but apparently at the time, no one who had gone to those kinds of open tryouts for an NBA team had ever made it to the NBA. Wow. And he didn't make it either, but no (laughs) one had ever made it. Uh, And they get you to do all kinds of things. Um, I don't know if you've seen like, um, well, it's some of the similar things that they were doing in this minus the technology, obviously then, but um, yeah, but it's like, you have to um, like dribble, and they'll ask you questions or ask yeah. you to say certain things like um, things about the alphabet. Things, they'll ask you to choose numbers. They'll ask you to do all kinds of these things while you're doing your workout, right? While you're dribble, dribble, left, pass, dribble, dribble, right, pass, dribble, dribble. Like you're doing all of these very real basketball drills, but at the same time, they're trying to see if you can concentrate on your, on what, on something task. else while you're maintaining well, your um, we, physical ability. We, we had that when I, when I was a kid playing, when I was about 12, 13 years old, we used to have those drills when they used to ask you to dribble, like do a bunch of, of dribbling drills going up and down the court. And at the same time, you had to either say the alphabet mm. or count up to 30 backwards. Mm. Mm. It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. like, you're yeah, dreaming, think, you're doing I, stuff like one, two, three, and you're like, ah. <laughs> I think we often, often under, underestimate NBA players and their, and their actual skills and, mm-hmm. and, and ability because and fundamentals. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's often said that, you know, NBA players, that they're just talented or they're, they're just athletic. Like, no, these guys work really, really hard mm-hmm. as well, you yeah. know? And they're, really smart as yeah. well like you, basketball is, is a sport that requires a lot but, of intelligence i think it, it's funny you said that because it's actually good it's 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 a, my own personal fight i've been having for like fucking 20 years now when everybody say mm-hmm. like just nba players I, I, i'm gonna say uh, any professional player professional team, yeah anyone that is yeah. paid for it is like yeah you know, you know how we we always discuss or people discuss online it's like oh yeah this guy's not the nba he's trash and like have you ever played? Do you remember Dave? Like, there's a couple of sessions in it where we used to play on Thursdays. Mm. Like, they, there's a couple. I don't know if you were there, but like, there's a couple of times where you, where you had guys that were from, like, not even professionals in in London, but like mm. in the second team, like the, the, the D2 or D1. Right. They used to fuck everyone up. Like the the dribblings, the shooting is. You you look at them, you like, 
there's nothing yeah. you can do they're like they, there's there's us mm. <laughs> and then there's them mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> like, and they're not even like they, they're semi-professionals they're like they're like gods compared yeah. to you right or not even semi-professionals right oh, not even. In, yeah they could be yeah like you said second division of the nbl but they like you can you can tell they are well drilled they yeah. have gotten to a point where they can do um they can do a lot of these things that we're talking about yeah. but they're still not anywhere near of course the professional the level yeah um yeah yeah and and credit to them i mean we've had a few uh, pros on this and it's it is not easy at all to make it to that level it's really not um and yeah like credit to all the people that do make it because it's yeah you have to be Hence. really intelligent and really skilled um and another side that we didn't mention was um learning plays right mm. learning plays yeah. and then learning the other team's plays uh we talk about basketball like you and the smartest of nba players the smartest of basketball players will not only know their own team plays inside out yeah. you know, but they really know when play. yeah when another team Isn't... calls something they know oh okay that's what it is um damian lillard Isn't that rondo that or chris paul yeah uh lebron james as well they lebron yeah there's one story of lebron in the playoffs telling Jimmy someone Jokic. that he was in the wrong place he was in the wrong place on his team's play lebron was guarding him and he was like no 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 you're the, he could see the guy didn't know where he and he was like no you're meant to be standing over there and then this is gonna happen you're gonna you're gonna come off the pin down and go up and that's you're gonna catch the ball on the wing but imagine imagine being the <laughs> other guy though and you're like you're like Fuck, what, am I meant to like, what, what, what do i do i don't i don't have the physical edge over you i don't even have the the, the, the element of the element of surprise over you right well like, <laughs> that's what makes him great right that's you don't have awesome. the physical edge and you don't have the mental edge <laughs> to make it work that's awesome um and yeah and that's that's another side to it even when i played for um for that team the um west side second team shouts uh mm-hmm. shouts to west side as well um there were players that we played with that we wanted to recruit and they had the talent but they couldn't remember the plays or they couldn't even like bring themselves to learn the plays and it's like that kind of stuff just gets weeded out early Mm -hmm. even that was division four the lowest rung of the national league the nbl um you just you can't make it anywhere without having the smarts up here i agree yeah um but yeah that was the longest uh Kami montage, the longest, um, montage. Analysis. <laughs> you need uh, <a> montage. <laughs> take it to the limit yeah <laughs> you need a montage <laughs> was that in south park when there was from? nothing Mont- south, uh, montage south park is, uh, isn't it team, team america, team america. yeah team team america. America. Both you of need them, a montage <laughs> Yeah, yeah, both of them. That's brilliant, man. Yeah. We're going to discuss Team America. <laughs> not on this pod, not on this pod, but somewhere. So uh, I got you. I got you. We'll do that. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> um. So yeah, he does his little routine workout. He has yeah. a shoot and drills, the handle, the pass through the um, through the tire, the moving tire. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That is a good yeah. one. Um, he has his little lights on the wall, the little tap tap. Um, Sorry, B- Bone Collector is on it as well, isn't he? Yeah, oh, he really? is for legend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know when they showed the Street Ball Legends. Ar- ar- around the same time as Lethal Shooter and the Professor. Professor. Oh, so they were part of the the montage yeah. scenes. Yeah. Oh, okay. The montage. Because <laughs> mm. Professor teaches him a little dribble. Um, couple dribble yeah. moves yes which he'll never use and uh mm-hmm. lethal shooter obviously the shooting <laughs> um because he's not in the nba anymore <laughs> yeah. and yeah and then eventually you know he gets oh eventually he gets he cut leaves. from the com- he doesn't make the combine because they the, the, the sixers owner goes on tv and talks about yeah. his assault charges yeah yeah um so he sabotages them yeah and he's heading home no he no that's it yeah so he stays they sabotage him he doesn't make it into the combine and then they decide 
we know how to get him into the combine social media yeah yay make a the challenge challenge yeah. who are you gonna call who are you gonna call social media dr j hey dr j <laughs> uh so he makes a viral video and then they start this challenge he goes back to his roots you know yeah. goes out on the Defense. streets and challenges these players challenges them and then eventually who decides to challenge him philly's own to buy it. Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris playing himself. What a hell of a yeah. performance. I mean, he yeah, it was all right. doesn't... Does he win the game? I can't even remember if they even yeah, show he wins. The, the result. Tobias Harris wins. I think that it's just irrelevant who, who, who yeah, wins yeah, on yeah. that one. Cause, cause, but but because they're both scoring in and out and they're both dunking. Yeah. Like it, looks, it looks cool. Just two NBA players playing, right? Like that was the point of the scene. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's when you got to fight Joe as well. Though. Isn't fight Joe in... Like in those kind of around uh, there. No, no, I thought he was earlier at the funeral. Maybe they show him again a second time. I think I think he's out again. Yeah, right. I might be wrong. Um, oh yeah, because he makes a comment right I think so. about the challenge. I think yeah. I think he's interviewed and he says that. Bo oh, and then you got a bunch incredible. of players on the TV on the on the phones, right? Like Allen Iverson. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's good yeah. stuff. Um. Alan Iverson would never comment on such a thing. Um, <laughs> and Tobias Harris would never go and play a street ball player. Can you imagine? He's trying to make, it into, the, yeah, trying to make it into the combine, like not even into. <laughs> he's not even Tobias Harris wanted more followers, make right? like, as, he, as if he need them. Need them. <laughs> uh, he's laughing to the bank. Um, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a movie. And yeah. Uh, so he goes toe to toe with Tobias Harris. Um, which I mean, after that, if I'm Philly, I'm just like, we're slashing your contract in half. <laughs> if you can't go toe to toe with this guy who just got destroyed by someone who's in the draft, I don't think you are who we thought you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Turn the money, please. <laughs> oh, we haven't mentioned Queen Latifah yet, man. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. That's, that's because she is a reputable actress playing her role. Yeah. Yeah, Fine. I think in, you know what I liked about this movie, and I was watching this with my wife, and she's like, "I like that they just didn't make the make her the black a woman." Big deal of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's it's the wife. It's it's the, the main mm -hmm. character's wife. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fucking loved it, man. Mm. I loved it, and, and she's yeah. obviously. I mean, she's great, obviously. Yeah. But she didn't play the black wife. She no. played the wife. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. I did, I did find it funny when she um, got angry at him for following her advice. <laughs> when? She when told him to he just quits. tell them where to, to, where to oh, stick yeah. their job. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to do it. <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> that is very realistic. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> Wolves have ears. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You better not say it. Can, you, can we please edit that? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, yeah. So where are we up to now? Oh, the bow challenge. He clearly, it works. And, yeah. um, and boa they get, challenge. They, they I think get that was him. Like boa. Oh, yeah. Because he's a snake and he'll constrict, yeah. constrict around you. Lock him up. Um. And again, defense, Tom. Defense well, no, right? wins championships and defense gets into the combine. Spots at the combine. Um, so they go to the combine, and <laughs> sorry, the combine just reminded me of the the jump um, thing when you have to hit the little sticks. Flip I forgot flops. when <laughs> when he played against the um, the Spanish, Spanish guys, and he jumps and hits all of them, and they're like, oh. <laughs> Look who they've got there, man. None of those guys can jump. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> he goes to the combine, um, goes through all the drills and whatever. You do all of the run forwards, run sideways, run backwards, 40-yard dash, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then, you know, he's talking talking trash with old Kermit because they're, they're going to they're gonna knock heads 
Um, and, yeah, and by, by this point, it's important to to mention that his family is in Philly. In right? yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he goes New, New York. Sorry, New York. New York. They're in New York because they fly. Yeah, they have to fly him to the combine in New York. His um, they sense that he's a little homesick. Queen Latifah actually points out that maybe he's homesick. It's the first time he's been yeah. away from his daughter for any kind of period. And she's yes. like, yeah, maybe that's the key. Maybe that's the issue. Um, so his daughter's there. His mom is there. And, you know, they're giving him encouragement as he goes along. They'll show their faces every now and again. Come on. You run. You jump. You, 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 you <laughs> sidestep. Sidestep your way to the league. And um, it shows, you know, the agent there, the owner, du Lil, Lil Duval. <laughs> Duvalito. <laughs> um, <laughs> and because he's little actually as well he's quite little yeah and they did that on purpose just to make him sort of like a, an annoying little character <laughs> um and yeah they're starting to go through all this stuff and then it comes time for them to to get on the court and show what they can do they split the 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 candidates up and, it, and it's time to to revisit the earlier scene. We've come full circle now. Um, and Kermit's like, yo, I'm going to step on your neck, Boa. And they go at it. A lot of one-on-one. Did you guys notice that? They would show, like, a screen. And then they would just, just give like, me the ball. <laughs> yeah. The ball. And all um, the other players don't really want to be in the draft. No. They just want to pass the ball to these two guys. Yeah. Because they know what their role will be in the NBA. <laughs> Not to play basketball. Only garbage time. Um, yeah. And yeah, so they go one-on-one uh, while playing five-on-five. Five. Um, they're out there making shots. Shots yeah. on shots. Um, yeah. Also, they would ask for a screen and then just go one-on-one on one anyway. <laughs> um so, yeah, they go in, they're scoring back and forth, and um, Kermit's trying to get in his head, but this time it doesn't work until... Until. <laughs> Spots a weakness. Until Spots he crosses it. all of the lines. <laughs> yeah, man, come on, Kermit. <laughs> Anthony Edwards. Uh... That's not, not cool, dude. Spots his family in the crowd. Yeah. He thinks at first, oh, is that his little sister? Oh, no, it's his daughter and his mother. Yeah. Looks like she reels, She needs a real daddy. Ooh. And then he How mentions he says something about his mom, too. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe I, I can hang out with your mom. Like, oh, yeah, that, yeah. Tips him over the edge. Yeah. And yeah, he ends up. Fight, fight, um, fight. Yeah. He knocks him to the ground. Kermit keeps his cool. And he, yeah, he goes to hit him, but he slams his hand just next to him. I'm glad his hand was okay, because if he'd messed up his hand, then psh, end of the film. Um, doesn't hit him, but at this point, he's shown too much anger, and he already has a bit of a reputation for, for that. And that's it. Chance blown. Chance yeah. blown. They go to the airport. Uh, Sugarman is his new daddy. Um, so and, Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah Billy Madison, this, exactly. At this, <laughs> yes, at this point, he becomes <laughs> Billy Madison from Happy Gilmore. Um, <laughs> and, <Nikki. laughs> and you can see that the, the relationship has meant something to him. Yeah. Acting, acting check, Tom. No, that was good. That was a good time. That was a good time. Look away and the the turn back. No, that was a good uh, says, solid. And then he blocks <laughs> it. Blocks. <laughs> oh. That's that's cool. Yeah. No, they, they, they actually actually they, they, he he acted very well. So you could see like tears coming up as they were saying goodbye. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't think it was a acting problem on that one. It was more of a script when it was like when he took the shot and he blocked it. Blocked him, it was like. <laughs> Uh, like there it. was something something else you could have gone for not only basketball players watch this movie right that's mm. for the masses mm. i liked it i liked it i liked it me too um, i enjoyed it 
it just showed a bit of the camaraderie yeah. that had been built not, over the time. I'm not saying I said in terms of gesture. His shooting motion wasn't good though. He was weird. Oh, come on, man! What are you analyzing here? That that was Adam Sandler, though, right? He, yeah. he's a he's a golf player, man. Well, that's it. True. No, True. he plays basketball. I know. I think he I'm could kidding. take you, Tom. Of course, he can actually. No, yeah, he, would, he could. He absolutely would. He you should set it up. Would. The Tom Challenge. The Tom <laughs> Tom versus Sugarman Challenge. Yeah, I tell you what. I just go. If, we'll if get, Adam we'll Sandler you. listens to this, I will challenge him to a one-on-one. Can we tag him? Please. Tag him. We'll it's come to London, Adam. Adam. <laughs> Sandler will, will this. bet. Tom will bet you his house that he can be. No, you. I don't have a house. I've got, I live in a flat, so it's okay. His but flat. Will, his flat. His you know, flat. flat. And his daughter's <laughs> university tuition. My apartment, yes. Adam. My apartment, so you want to call it. And what um, we'll do uh, is we'll get you to... to play against all the british actors in an attempt to get you get him to to bite on it on a challenge just like just like bo did sure no, no. But me, if, me, but if you win we get all the billy maddies and fortune yeah we just involved right like i'm his agent like, I'm, uh... I'm the scout <laughs> i get you ready tom <laughs> we have a montage. We yeah, go to the bottom. We go to the bottom court. court. We go to the bottom court. <laughs> Rented, you know, like two, two hours. Two hours every three weeks should be enough. Yeah, I'll get Let a tire and, over asking. <laughs> and a stick to roll the tire with. <laughs> yeah, when are we? Four, fourth of July is when we record this. Adam, you got six months. Six months you learn in the UK. I bought yeah, I a mean, court. In six months, if we, if we look, if if we rent the court like once every three weeks, should be enough. To get you shake. No, I need I need a weekly I need a weekly oh, top sorry. up. I can't. <laughs> You'll get more unfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's possible, I don't know if it's possible to be more unfit. But anyway. Oh man. Um. Yeah. So, so where are we? That's it. It's over. There's no hope. He's failed as a man and as a player until. Leon calls. Who are you going to call? He says 22. Deuce Deuce. That's his nickname. Deuce Deuce. Yeah. Can you get your man to this workout? We've got a closed private workout with NBA hoopers. And coaches. Can you get him there? And GMs. And he says, it's too late. He's on the plane. And he says, well, has the plane taken off? And then Adam Sandler yes. says, no. And then he runs through the airport. <laughs> and he, he manages to get him off the flight. And then he drives him. <laughs> and they make it just in time. Uh, and then he has to hand in his phone. I don't know why they included that. Maybe that was for realism. But... Yeah, yeah, I, th- I think I it's know. it's LeBron. LeBron, honest, going. Sorry. do you remember when I got dunked on once by a school <laughs> kid and somebody filmed it? And it was like, never I still again. Got PTSD about that. Nobody. Um, so he has to hand in his phone. He goes in, and they work out. What happens then? And then you got Aaron Gordon and Trey Young, uh, Jordan Trae. Clarkson. Clarkson, yep. Uh, who else is there? Bob on his back, but he's he's playing the rookie. The, 22 yeah. year old giant <laughs> Brad Stevens. Brad Doc Stevens. Rivers. No, Doc Rivers is later. Yeah, no. you don't uh, Doc, yeah, Doc is there. later. Yeah. No, um, yeah. And then the sister of the. Yeah. Owner. Duvalita. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mark, Mark Jackson? Is he? Mark Jackson yeah, Mark is there. Yeah. Mark Jackson. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. She's, she's there. She has a conversation with, with, with Sugarman um, about how he hands over the team right he, he she's taking a more active role she's taking, yeah. yeah so she she genie buses him yeah. um you've been bust <laughs> bus who was also on social media today asking for help um and saying kobe was the best in history right that's what she said the it, best yeah. um but you're all welcome to comment anyone can reply you don't have to sign a form or anything to tweet 
Um, yeah. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. Um, so yeah, they're there. She's taken a more active role, which means that he has more of an in because you know nepotism. Um, yeah. <laughs> two out of the three people in the family wanted to give him a job one didn't um and uh brett oh god brad brad stevens brad stevens yeah. likes the look of Bo, and he ends up joining the celtics in time as he did right he, he get drafted by the celtics he did he gets oh, drafted no, or signed no, by the Celtics. I think like, I'm talking real life. Celtics. Yeah, I think he signed with the Celtics at that time, which is he how wasn't he got the footage of drafted by the Nuggets. Drafted yeah. by the Nuggets. There you I go. He, but he did play for the Celtics. At he that, played at, for at a season point. with the Celtics. Yeah. yeah. Fine. And I think that's who he was with when the movie happens. Yes, Fair. 2021, okay. 2022. So that would have been. There you go. That's, yeah. 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 And that's why Edwards gets drafted by the Timberwolves and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, sure. Uh, for realism's sake. Um, do we see... I'm trying to think if we see anything. Obviously, he plays well. Um, does anything else come out of that workout besides those conversations? Like, on the court? Uh, like, I can't remember for the life of me. Nothing. Not really. It's it's about him, him performing this time. Yeah. Uh, no, he, uh, he... I, I think it was not realistic at all, though, because at one point, Trey Young has the ball and he said, Here, Bo, take the ball. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> as if, as if Trey Young is going to pass the ball. No, 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 and no. He said, no, pass the ball to somebody. He will for an I assist, said, not for someone to dribble. But if you've noticed that the game, there's a slight evolution in the game because he, he starts off cold. He misses all of the shots. Like he, he gets very little action, it's but then every time shot. he's got the ball, he misses everything. And then he starts making a couple, or like he dunks or he blocks somewhere. I can't remember what happens. Then he turns it turns it around. On the and other end, Anthony Edwards messing it up. Like he's like, oh, yes. don't make Anyway, and this is when he's starting to to hit a couple. And then Trey Young's like, oh my God, this guy's hot. I recognize <laughs> the hotness. Boom, feed him the ball. Feed the hot <laughs> hand. Keep the hot hand. Feed the hot the hand. Hot hand. He's um, a team player. He does. Doesn't even pass it underhand. I feel like that no, bothered he me. says, no? "Come, come, here you go. Play, like, grab me from." He's not even passing. He's like, "Yeah, take it from me." It's like, "Yeah, yeah." Is that real? Not an I don't know. Can't have that. Oh, that. Can't have that. Oh, it would count today for sure. I anyway. count on you today. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and he makes the league, and that therefore, in turn, vindicates Mr. Sugarman. Mm. Yeah, as a great scout. Ta-da! Is now. And he gets coach. brought back as a coach. Yeah, coach, yeah. On the back bench for Philly and Dark Rivers. Yeah. I like Dog Man. <laughs> like he's good. <laughs> um and yeah, so that's what we see at the end. Um obviously Philly, I, which I don't I don't remember which arena it was in, but Philly plays it's in Philly. Boston. Okay. Yeah, in Philly, because because they're coming out of the locker room and he has and his, his office. wife is there. Yeah, right. Uh, he's got the office and his wife's there. The office. Think, so, yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, so Philly plays Boston and they get to to shake hands on the court. Oh, the, the tattoo, man. The tattoo. The tattoos. We miss that bit. That that's an important bit. The tattoos. True. So chest and arm is for his mother and his daughter, and the other side is for his dad. Just wasn't empty. there empty no tats but he get what's the tattoo of what's the tattoo 22 does he get 22 don't get porn <laughs> don't get... <laughs> porn's not free porn a porn is free on your phone stop buying it's free it is yes. another another queen latifah gem from the movie live mm, live by yeah. this children uh <clears throat> whoops <laughs> Somebody oh. cut that. Um, what? Um, yeah. What was it of? It was of. It was something to do with with um, with Sugarman. Ah, was it his? Because he tells the story of how he breaks his hand, and that's how he doesn't end up in the league. 
it was something related to him. Oh, it's a tree. Um, oh, never yeah. back down. Never back That's down. That's it. This is the top. That's Robert Duval. The Robert Duval's phrase yeah. that he tells Billy that Madison. He tells, uh, yes. That's a good good. But yes, yes this, this never back down. Never back down. That's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and he gets that on his, on his left arm to prove that Sugarman yeah. is his new daddy. Um, <laughs> uh, and then that's it, right? Yeah, they roll out the credits. Yeah, the credits were in there. Yeah, which yeah. we forgot to mention, but I can't remember what scene he is. But like Chris Middleton, when when, when was he? He's there? uh, oh, yeah. they're watching at, the at combine. the workout. No, 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 he's at the workout. He's at the final workout. Yeah, he's like this guy's good. Yeah, I thought and it was at the he's combine. Along. Uh, oh no, yeah, Kyle, yeah. Kyle Lowry's Kyle Lowry's there. Combine. Yeah. Yeah. combine. Um, um, and Aaron Gordon's in there as well, dunking. Yeah, uh, which I realized when I saw his face, I actually didn't know his face at all because I went, "Who the hell is that?" There's like, oh, really? dunk, Aaron. I was like, "Oh, that's how can you Gordon. not know that's his what he face? Looks like. Dunk contest, I don't know. Right? He looked weird. I don't know if it's the, the the hair or the, I was like, because I haven't looked at Aaron Gordon. Was it the bandana? Years. Did it throw you off? Like when Batman puts on his cowl? Uh, maybe like <laughs> uh, like Clark Kent when he wears oh. glasses on the like, world. Or Rob, Robin's <laughs> little face mask. <laughs> oh, Miss Marvel with a mask knife. You've seen it. It's like, wow, it everything. <laughs> no idea who that is. No idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I thought outside of what we've mentioned about, you know, the whole going one-on-one, most of the basketball looked authentic in the moves at yeah. least that they made. Yeah. Those were NBA moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, off the screen, one dribble pull up you know to dribble into the mid-range pull up on the baseline that kind of thing structurally the stuff that was being done was very um very realistic uh if some of the situations weren't necessarily it's always super hard to film basketball scenes i've Mm -hmm. noticed it's it it, it, you can tell when it's been faked and i think that's one of the first time where i'm like okay because they're all professional players it looks natural Mm. And even in yeah. the camera movement, it looks natural. Mm. Uh, yeah. If you watch Coach Carter, you can tell the actors. Right? Coach Carter, man. <laughs> you can tell the actors. As much Come as I on. love that film, like every time there's a basketball scene, I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's it. Warm. Warm was <laughs> such a good point, Carter. <laughs> and Cruz. Hey, more Cruz cousin. You see? Hey. His cousin yeah, from, this. from what, what was that town? Anyway. Uh, yeah, he... Coach Carter is just not, not. I mean, it's it's a good it's a good movie, but good film, not the most realistic. Yeah. It's know. not the realistic in terms of basketball. It's it's awesome in terms of uh, you know all the fields the drama. when they all do the push-ups or cruise, man. I'm gonna take suicides. I'm gonna do push-ups, man. Who does 1,500 <sighs> suicides, man? Like, come on. Fuck that. You do two, based, two and you're done. Come on, Sam Jackson. Based on a true <laughs> on, story, man. man. Based, based on, on a true story. story. If it happened in a movie, it happened in real life. Exactly the same. Yep. <laughs> they didn't change anything for the film. Well, Absolutely I, th- I think one of the best basketball movies is Glory Road. Yep. I agree. I think mm-hmm. it's quite 100%. realistic as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's, yeah. Probably, it's probably my yeah. favorite basketball film. I think my basketball. favorite basketball film is He Got Game. Good. Yeah. Another good film. Denzel um, and, and Ray Allen. I mean, yeah. Space Jam is the best, but it's fine. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen the second one and I... And you agree that it's up. better? No. We talked about it. We had an episode about it, man. Uh, yeah. We had an episode. We had a special about it. I yeah, know, I know. That's somewhere. Tom, Tom went to... Um, what's that website where you can just get the the, the Cliff Notes? Cliff Notes? Is that the website? Cliff Notes. Pink Monkey? I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> there are sites you can go to. He just he just checked, checked what happens. <laughs> Wrote his notes. Didn't finish right. the film. <laughs> No more, LeBron. Please, <laughs> please stay away from acting altogether. Um, so he did. Um, He's a producer yeah. now. Let's stick to that. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Overall, I thought good film. Uh, very yeah. watchable. Go watch it. Very Go watch rewatchable. It. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. I think. Wow. I think it's also good for. for... <laughs> Like, not not only hoopers will like it, right? Like non-hoopers can enjoy this this film, and sure. it's like 
I think like if, if you only uh, focus on Adam Sandler, the guy the guy's acting in this film is effortless, and I think because he's just enjoying being there, you know, around these guys, and he's he's talking about basketball, which he actually loves. So I think mm. it was I think that that part of the movie I think I I enjoyed watching him not just do these stupid silly roles Comedy, that yeah. I love actually, yeah. but um, <laughs> yeah. you know after Uncut Gems and now this one is mm. like good, good for him. But he, you know, it's, um, it, 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 it's, part, it's part of that thing where um, I always said like all those actors that are really into over the top comedy and mm -hmm. acting, you know, like um, oh, what's his face? Um, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, like when they do serious movies and they do serious acting, something that's slightly emotional to me, they always because comedy is the hardest part, like form mm -hmm. of acting and, and movies to do. Right. It's like when they do serious acting and like something that's slightly emotional. Like to me, I'm like, yeah, this it it speaks to me more than it, like somebody that always does that that's that trend of movie. Yeah. So um I, I think he should carry on kind of sticking to those type of movies. Like, yeah, introduce a little bit of comedy, sure, why not? But like as long as it's mm. not slapstick like it used to do. Mm. Um or like over the top, the, you mm. know. <laughs> uh, I just remember <laughs> the least realistic basketball movies is uh, Uncle Drew. <laughs> You got this. You got these old guys dunking. <laughs> that, oh hey, my god! That's that's the next special. Uh, oh man. Uncle Drew. Hey, Uncle Aaron Drew. Gordon was in that one as well, wasn't he? He was. He was. There you go. See, this is a second Shaq performance. And, hey, Chris Shaq, Webber, yeah. Lisa Leslie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good. yeah. Lisa Leslie also in Sister Sister. Not her first time acting either. See some of these people. She's been around. Consistent, consistent, consistent performers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think 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 we're done here. Unless you guys have any little tidbits to to uh, pick up on. Good movie. Go watch it. This is not. An yeah. Ad. This is not. No, we're not paid by Netflix just yet. Uh, did Tom? Did you ever get to your second um, hot take? First hot take was the. Oh, I said I said a couple, but I was lying. It was just that one hot take, which was. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to big myself up, but I it didn't work. Face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, my second right. hot take is I can I can take Adam Sandler and uh, Adam. See you in six months. Oh yeah, one can on we one, can yeah. we please tag him, Adam? Yeah, we'll we'll tag him. We'll, is, we'll he, is he on the internet? Tom's. Uh... I'm let, sure let we can see. get him. I, I know a guy who knows him. His name is Leon. Leon <laughs> is he an agent? Yes. <laughs> is his name Kenny the Jet Smith? <laughs> is he Kenny? Yeah. All right. Um, so we will tag Adam Sandler, and to right, see yeah. us tag him, <laughs> you will have to go to at Grit and Grime Pod on all socials. Um, remember to like, share subscribe to the podcast rate and review us on whatever platform you're listening to um or viewing and yeah. if you're leaving a review how many stars should they leave five, five. that's how many bites you should take from the steak not one not right one. that was a big steak too wasn't it that's a big fuck up steak that looked, that looked good man oh that looked good mm. So five stars if you're leaving a review. Um, I've been David Sago. He's been Thomas Arnold. Goodbye. He's been Jose Garcia Vidal. See you later. And we're out of here. Deuce, deuce.